I mean, what they had 70 plays on offense and 50, 50 was run the last game, and 32 was his carry. So um, I know I feel like they were protecting um, their offense. They try to protect the ball. They try to protect Malik last game. Um, they ran the ball, like I said, 50 times in that game. So. And that was Malik as well. So at the end of the day, since I've been here in Tennessee and I've been preaching this message since I've been here since, you know, that's kind of what got brought to my attention. No one run the ball on the Tennessee Titans defense. So um, I think our mindset is and one of our defensive goals this week is to stop the run. So no matter who who have the ball in their hand, we have to um, get we have to swarm to the ball, make sure everybody gets to the ball. And uh, quite frankly, we need to get the ball off them. So. Well, just about do the volume, though, right, Jeff, with the, the amount that they were running the ball, it's about how much variety they had with their different run looks. Yeah, it wasn't too many different ones. I mean, um, like I said, they have design runs. Um, we saw in the red zone. They had um, a draw from Malik, and even with the type of run they run, um, especially this offense, we haven't faced, in the first two games, we haven't faced a team who do this much um, gap skiing runs with a lot of the pulls, the guard pulls and tackle pulls and stuff in that nature. So like I said, it's different looks, but it's really they get back to the same exact run. They try to spread you out or they try to get in a different formation. But at the end of the day, it's about the exact same run. That's what I look at as a defensive lineman. What type of runs are they running? And it's really the same runs. It's just in a different formation, maybe. If you, can, if you can stop the run, as you guys often do, then what should happen if you get the ball, if you get the game onto the line? Um, I mean, as any other make it, I mean, any other team in the NFL or any other game in the NFL, when you make a team uh, one dimension, um, I think we should be able to get out to the quarterback. And as we know, um, having to face Malik in practice, um, you know, he could throw the ball downfield, but at the end of the day, uh, we know he can also try to extend the plays by getting outside of the pocket. So that's another thing. Uh, if we are facing Malik, we have to be ready for with his escape um, ability. So that's the thing we, I, I would hope we could do is be able to stop the run, make a one dimension and drop that pass. Is it a challenge at all when you think you're going to face one quarterback, but I'm assuming you're preparing for love as well? Yeah, I wouldn't say a challenge. Like I just said earlier, I, I feel like we just have to play our brand of football, no matter who at quarterback. And that just goes back to last week and playing against Aaron Rodgers. Now, we didn't care who was at quarterback. It was just, how can we play clean football? How can we play clean football as a defense? Like I said, we have so much stuff to clean up. And it's crazy, like we were talking about, we still the number one defense, but we're not even playing clean football. So um, once we could clean it, clean every, the small details up, communicate a little better, um, like I said, it don't matter who at quarterback. No, we just have to play out burning the football on defense. When to tempo, when to not tempo, when to give Will, you know, a better window and not just blast through that window and just make it easier for not only him but me coming through those windows. Sometimes I'm coming through so fast, man. If, I don't know if you know, I run so fast sometimes I can't even see, bro. Like my eyes are just jumping and it's just <laughs> I'm making it harder, if, you know. So I'm playing the game, learning the offense, really sitting in the meetings, listening, and you know, learning the timing of the progression where. The timing that I have to, you know, to be in those windows so a lot. Just, yeah, just pay attention in the meetings and I just know the timing and everything and what he's doing back there. And it's making it a little better. Well, he really seemed to take the loss hard the other day. I mean, who? Uh, Will. You yeah. See, how's his body language been? His nah, man. Been? See, you know, this is the NFL, bro. I mean, I, you know, I've been up here. I don't lost a lot of games. I don't won some games. Will, this doesn't affect him, man. He's, you know, he's just, he just cares. I mean, you got a quarterback who works hard every day, goes out there to get better, and he wants to do good in the games. It's just a couple plays where, you know, you got to fix, and you know, we'll be on the other side. You know, we'll be on the other side of the talk. Uh, if, you know, we, when we fix our, you know, cups, but uh, he just, he just works hard and want to do good. I'm the same way, man. I work hard. I want to do good. I don't want to go out there and drop no passes. It just happens sometimes and we make we make mistakes sometimes but uh we, we're working to get better to be for you guys versus the first two opponents that they've had because they've obviously had an emphasis on containing as opposed to just getting the sack yeah uh i'm not sure i mean I, they are fairly new defense so it's not a lot of information on their coordinator he came from college so uh, i feel like they're going to do it you know what they do try to keep it simple and uh trust their guys up front and it's our job to to control them and uh get our get our run game going first of all and and go from there. Lloyd, it's, it's always a process when you have a younger offensive line. Mm -hmm. With the right side in particular in the last game, some pressure allowed from that side. What do you tell those guys that are kind of still working into those uh, positions? 
Uh, you just tell them, I mean, it's not all on them. It's, you know, it's not uh, one guy or two guys. You know, offensive line is about all five connecting, you know, and uh, playing well together. So um, it's, it's never just one side or one person, man. It's, it's all five of us have to uh, continue to grow together. And like you said, we have a young group, but no excuse. You know, it's going, to, going into game three. And uh, we just gotta, we, we will step our game up and uh, continue to get better. Yeah, I wouldn't call it PTSD. I mean, I gotta go out there and do my job. You know, this is this is the nature of the business. So you gotta go out there every game. Um, you know, I can't play in fear because that's just I'm not gonna be able to do my job. So it's accepting. That's kind of what this whole process has been. Is you gotta accept the fact that this is part of football. And uh, you know, I gotta be able to trust the guys, and that's, like I said, that's just kind of been the message: is I gotta, I gotta trust y'all. And uh, you know, going forward, I think, you know, we're we're gonna have a plan in place. Um, I know that uh, I trust Colt, I trust the guys, um, you know, and I think we're putting an emphasis more on it, and it's just creating a standard here. That's that's something that I uh, have felt. You know, maybe we didn't have that standard before, but it certainly now is is the right time to hold everyone to a standard. Is there a common thing that you're seeing with all these fun talks? Uh, I just... wouldn't say it's it's common. Um, you know, nothing about this is common. Um, but I will say that I think that, um, you know, we've improved in the last two weeks. Um, it's obviously unfortunate what happened last game because you want to build. You know, you never want to sit there and go backwards or, um, you know, do things uh, not the way we teach it or coach it. But uh, on that note, I think that, um, it, it's putting more of an emphasis on punt and how important it can be in, in the game. Uh, we're 0-2, and, and one of the reasons why is because we have had two punt blocks. So uh, I think going forward, um, it just shows how important it is and putting an emphasis on it. Ryan, was Thanks, it important? Ryan. how important was it for you to nail the 63-yard punt after you had that block one? Just to show that, hey, I, I can do this. It's not up here. It's not it, – like it's a, it, like you said, it's the, the whole of everything, not a, just a single part of it. Yeah, it, it, it's – I think – and that's what I went back to with the trust aspect. you got to be able to trust the guys, right? The game's not over just because you have a block punt. Um, and that's kind of the message for, for guys is that uh, you got to keep going out and proving it. It's not just – the one punt that gets blocked, it's the next punt, it's that same game, it's the next game, and it's going forward for the next 15 games. Um, and, yeah, I think for me especially getting comfortable, I knew that it would take a couple games just for me personally to get comfortable. Um, going out there and hitting that 63 uh, was great uh, for the mental and for knowing, hey, I still got it. Um, blocks aside, just for me in the recovery aspect, it's definitely been a, a good, good note.